Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And first off, I want to say, Happy Halloween everybody. And so, since it's Halloween, I wanted to, um, you know, play with some nostalgic fear games, you know? Some uh, horror games and whatnot. And I do like playing uh, a number of them. And I have played a number of them in the past. And I thought it would be pretty cool just to, you know, go, go down memory lane. So I wanted to play Fear. This is one of the finest FPS games ever. Like I, I think I think I personally think that this was one of the games that really made the the AI system. Like around that time when the game did came out, when the game came out, it was like the AI was like phenomenal. Like it, they were able to call backup they were able to hear sounds and when you were trying to sneak around there they would actively try to look for you they would try to communicate with each other it, it was just crazy and then even in the firefights they will just like they'll talk to one another in the battlefield and whatnot and it, it was pre it's pretty amazing but um yeah I, I had some trouble with the controls since you know it it originally was made for the PC and it, it didn't really have like controller support because at that time it was only for PC and you know the consoles couldn't play the game and whatnot but I was able to look through a few steam controls and I think they're working pretty well but I think I have to use the end button in order to switch grenades and whatnot but luckily I have like my laptop like near me just in case <laughs> so yeah let's let's do this I cannot wait. So I, yeah, as you can see, I had a loading right there because I was trying to test things out with it. But yeah, let's see what happens. But since I've already played the Fear series before, I've played all of them. I I liked um, Fear One, you know, Fear Two, Three. Well, we'll talk about Three when we get there. But I am eager to record this the entire series and it's it this it's been so long since I've ever played it so I, I don't even know like <laughs> there's there's a bunch of things that I probably don't really remember and then there are some iconic moments that I did remember but yeah let's do this so what I'm gonna do is that throughout that whole series within the fear series because I'm playing the DLCs too I'm going to play it on the highest difficulty level now I have uh, beaten the extreme difficulty level before a long time but it was like years ago like like during when I was like in high school <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty interesting and in, you know seeing how this goes so yeah we're gonna start with extreme difficulty oh you know I should have read that oh well In 2002, first encounter assault recon. Oh, also too, you know, I have my uh, had to make sure I get my uh, good old trusty Halloween whiskey. Just to relax a bit. Man, this was like so intense back then. Brings back so many good memories of this game.
Don't worry, guys. He's just taking a nap. I mean, he really shouldn't be sleeping on the job, but... What are you gonna do, right? Oh, man. Guess you got... Guess you gotta get your daily protein, right? Yes. Sorry to wake you, Senator. It's about origin. What happened? There was an uprising. Fettel has taken command of the prototypes. My God. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. This wacko's name is Paxton Fettel. He's the key. If we contain him, we contain the situation. Fuckers got it. Hold on a second. I think the um the sensitivity a little too high, I think. I'm wondering, do I have to change it here? An appetite. I think he has an agenda. It's not just recreational. No, it's not that either. Performance? Yeah, put that as high. Graphics card, yeah, we're gonna put that, we're gonna put that at maximum. <clears throat> I should be able to do that. My PC is pretty strong. Even though it's like, you know, still a little old. It's still pretty old, but we can do this. Will not take effect until you leave the game that you are playing. Oh man. <laughs> He's getting something out of it. Essential vitamins and nutrients? But well, scary. I'll I'll do that later. Property on. of Armicam Technology Corporation. They're working on a military contract to develop an army of clones that respond to a psychic commander. Top secret, of course. Fettel is one of the commanders. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is why nobody takes us seriously. Military clones. A full battalion of them, highly trained and heavily armed. A battalion? What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Like I said, we put Fettel down and it's over. Fortunately, the whole point of the program is to give commanders first-hand knowledge of the battlefield without putting them in danger. That means we should be able to corner the bastard without having to wade through all those soldiers. How do we find him? Army Cam implanted a transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. That's awfully convenient. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? You put him nice in the field? Shoes. Are you crazy? Oh. He just transferred in a week ago. You've seen his training results. His reflexes are totally off the charts. I think he can handle himself. Whatever, man. It's your call. Goddamn right it is. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Let's roll. Yo, what's that buzzing sound? That buzzing noise? You see that? What's the first thing? Will you hear that? You will be a god among men. Who's that guy? We've tracked Fettel to an abandoned building just up ahead. No sign of enemy activity on the satellite, but don't take any chances. Jankowski, you in position? Just say the word. All right, move it out. Hey, uh... Oh, okay. Situation. Fear mission coordinator. Rowdy Betters. Huh, what a last name. Rowdy Betters has tracked enemy commander Paxton Fettel to an abandoned building in Auburn District. Hmm. Hannibal 3 spy satellite is Geosynchronosis. Orbit shows no signs of replica soldiers in the vicinity. Hmm. Your mission is... As follows, fear, combat operatives will infiltrate the target, sight from two separate entity points, and attempt to neutralize Fettel. Attempt, huh? Eh, I mean, I, I mean, at this point, I mean, we, we got to make sure we take him down. But uh, according to Arkenham, according to Arkenham Technical Advisor, uh, once Fettel is contained, replica soldiers will become inactive and can be rounded up 
without incident. Investigate the area for signs of Paxton Fettel. Gotcha. Get out of here. But hey, uh, you know, you, you're gonna give me those, uh, the change over there, but, um, okay. It's a nice car, man. Alright. Okay, so this is, so I'm, I'm gonna get, see if I can get used to these type of controls, because I, I had downloaded a uh, type of controls from, uh, Steam itself. So, let's see. Oh, it's both like that. Okay, so X this time is the slow mo. I'm guessing Y would be like the uh, using for the med kits. Okay, so this is aiming. Um, can I do a melee? Okay, hold on. Okay, let me see if I can add some melee into this. Or if the game will even let me do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before I do that. Okay. I, I just had to make sure. Wait. Alright, so it's not gonna really matter if I do that or not. And you know what? Let's just put it at high for the graphics card. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't. Uh, okay, I, I know why. Hold on. Never mind. Put it at maximum. Use the R button. So I'm guessing what is the X? So holding down the R, okay. That's a weird set of controls. You could just see like, you know, the atmosphere for it. You know, how it used to be. Like it's just mysterious and he was playing the music on here. Makes it really, you know, ominous. Put a few buildings up here. Like, even the clouds were pretty cool back then. Okay, so hold on, let me save this. All right, and then I am going to be right back with this so I can have the maximum performance on here right about now. And okay, I'm back again. Oh yes, this looks so much better. You see this? Oh, yeah, that's so much better right there. But uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is running pretty nicely now. Nice little graphics here. Little nice set of details. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Oops. Uh Um let me see let me see where I remember how to
will let me hold it or oh there we go <laughs> okay there we go okay as long as I got my flashlight I'm good okay let me see does button I wonder what they're gonna use the Y button for I, th I think the Y button is gonna be like for something else but you know what what I'm gonna do is uh, um, I might I might just like when it comes to like uh, opening up the doors I'm probably gonna press like the computer button you hear that Hear the whispering on here. Going to the bathroom area. Pretty creepy. <clears throat> What's this area here? All oh, right, we can open the the area over here, right? I use like the way that the game even functions too is like you know if you keep exploring and you explore enough you end up finding some pretty cool stuff like kind of like this it's pretty cool so you you'll end up finding like you know some things that can increase your health and some items that can start increasing your slow mo abilities Pretty awesome stuff. Oh, now this here, this is like an interesting thing, right? So I have found out about this a while back. Now there's an Easter egg with something happening over here. I believe that if you open this door and you continue to close it, open and closing it, um, you're supposed to get like a weird type of Easter egg on here. I think this is the door. But let's see. So you open it, close it again, and you just keep doing that over and over again. started something creepy but now if you keep doing it <laughs> see so you doing that now you'll see like the, all the weird thing that happens so you go here and then you try to open this door and then you'll have her you'll have like the little um the little ghost girl say something <laughs> that's pretty cool so you know it, it, a lot of people end up missing these type of things and um you know they, they they'll just pass this over here and they'll be oh okay well he's like oh, okay there's nothing here but yeah, if you just keep doing that over and over again, you'll start getting some weird phenomenon stuff happening. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool thing. So if you guys do end up playing this yourselves, you know, you could just try it out for yourselves and it'll happen. <laughs>
see the atmosphere like the um you know the little weird energy that's happening over here and you can see like the lights just like flickering and on on and off as if something's wrong or if there's like an anomaly or something happening something some type of phenomenon creepy um i think when doing this too we end up we might be losing our weapons yeah we might lose our gun not sure what happened there but i think i think that's what happens like um or maybe i just ended up dropping the gun by by mistake but if you open this up more at times and you know might lose your weapon. <laughs> it's like this eerie type of silence and then it's like, you know, it tries to build up the suspense. Not sure where uh Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to my gun. You see something? Yeah, that's really weird. My, um... I guess my gun ends up disappearing. I'm not sure what I did with it. Okay, if anything, I'll just, um... Uh, I'll reload it. It's like my gun just ended up disappearing. Must have dropped it somewhere. <laughs> Typical rookie mistake, right? <laughs> First day on the job, and he he loses his weapon. Yeah, that's really weird. That must have been some type of bug. <laughs> let's uh, reload that again. <laughs> Hold on, let's see something. Let me see if I hold uh, any of the D pads. Will I drop my weapon? No. Nope. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's uh I guess that'll happen. Hey bro, what took you so long? You know, I was uh trying to find a way around. Trying to find some Easter eggs. Oh okay, you're leaving. Okay. Oh, I think that since we reloaded, yeah, I have to go back and get the, the thing over here again. All right, there we go. Oh, man. The 
frame the frame rate drops on this game was pretty insane back then. Perhaps I should probably add like a mod or something, you know, to make it run smoothly, more smoothly. So if you run like if you try to run like fast, he'll end up disappearing pretty fast. Yeah, so I guess take note, guys. If you do the Easter egg, the game will steal your gun away. Nice to know. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty brutal uh, type of Easter egg, but okay. Oh, that's pretty pretty crazy. Hold on a sec. Come on. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go. Let's go. And as you see, you, it just takes you to this otherworldly type of thing. Okay, so this is a. I, I like for you guys to um, remember what he just said there, like those words that he said, because I'm going to we're gonna, we're gonna go back to that comment he made when we get further into the game, and it to me I think that that comment was a bit weird. It 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 didn't really to me it didn't really make sense, but. You gotta understand why when we get to a certain point in the game. So remember this point on what he said in this beginning. But yeah, as you can see, it takes you all the way to this weird little thing right here, like this uh, this type of experience. Things in slow motion, and you just hear whispers, ominous whispers, and all. And, you know, as you can see, our partner ended up disappearing, and we don't even know what happened. Oh, man. This guy over here, he's looking like he's having a bad day. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought the shadow was a bit different from what it normally was. Whew. Look at this guy. Jin, we need you up here. Looks like we're too late, boss. Just leftovers. The transmitter signal's coming from nearby. It's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll wait here for Jin. You take a look around. I mean... Get going! Eh, whatever. I get it. You're afraid, and you're probably you capable place of getting this guy. Hey, listen. Don't rush me. Okay? You're the one who wanted to stay Dude, here. Dude, take a look around. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always such a good, like, a pretty cool experience. What are you, chicken shit or something? <laughs> look, you're the FNG, so you do as I say. I mean, bro, you don't have the superpowers, so I don't know all what right. you want me to say. Take your time. I got all day. Yeah, good. You see that? I'm glad we see eye to eye. You see that? Just got to let them know, right? You know, guys? Got to let them know. Like, I'm, I'm the badass over here, not you. I'm the protag. You know, as a matter of fact, since I'm the protag, you know, you should give me that gun, because you don't need it. You clearly don't need it. I mean, what you gonna do against this guy? I mean, he's already dead. Clearly, you didn't kill him. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's, it's always pretty cool though when you like in this game, like you just stand here and then it just like you know, it like they'll 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 actually start talking and they'll have a few cool lines and whatnot, and then they just stop. <laughs> That's pretty creepy. Is that like a rusted car or hmm. yes, it's Gives you some room to look around, see all the artwork that's here. Yeah, you gotta check those corners, you know, gotta make sure everything's all good. You know, you don't see anything, it's like, alright, everything's all awesome, and. Whoa! Guess we wasn't fast enough. <laughs> the dead man's name was Charles Haberger. I remember him. But our memories, mine, are hers. It makes no difference. They deserve to die. They all deserve to die. Okay, so I don't know if you heard the the whispers, but there was the another whisper from um, uh, during the conversation before you know they started blabbering. Um, it's the uh, you know the ghost girl that said something on there. But yeah, I think I think that that got a like one. one you know, most people who usually plays it, <laughs> it was like a pretty uh, surprising thing. It's like, oh, okay, there's nothing in the corner, and then boom, he just hits you. <clears throat> that 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 could definitely freak a few people out. Helicopters here. What do you think of the new point, man? Hey, back on. Oh, right. see anything? You guys about done up there? Oh man. Just getting started. You boys run along. I'll be busy here for a while. Ah, uh, missed it. Yeah. So normally, what happens too is like um. of this op. They will be on point. Their mission is to assess the nature of the threat. Our job is to keep them alive. Do not engage the enemy. Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. Team 1 will move in from the southwest. Team 2 will approach from the north. 
Once our recon is complete, we'll rendezvous and wait for further orders. Okay, let's saddle up. <clears throat> so, sometimes, like, you know, when it comes to, like, your allies and whatnot, if you don't enter into the rooms, like, too quickly, what will happen is they'll start having conversations with you about you and whatnot. You know, just, like, have a little bit of, you know, extra, I guess, extra dialogue and maybe a little bit of lore. Maybe, maybe not. It's just, you know, little banters here and there. Situation. Pakistan Federal managed to elude fear operatives in Auburn. And his tracking signal was sub was subsequently lost. Body of unidentified male was discovered at the site. Hannibal 3 spy satellite has photographed sizable replica force in, in the vicinity. In vicinity of the South River wastewater treatment plant. Hmm. So I guess we're going to like a water plant and whatnot. The mission is as follows. Fear op fear combat operatives will attach will attach to responding special forces operational detachment. Delta S F O D D <laughs> Troops to What's that one say? Reconnoiter. Huh. Reconnoiter. If I'm saying that right, I'm probably butchering it. But the area for the purposes of recommending military response. Teams should not engage the enemy unless fired upon. Fear technical officer Jin Sun Quan is remaining in Auburn to conduct forensic. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Forensic investigations. Sure, why not? I'd send one of my boys, but I think we need a specialist for this one. A specialist to open the door. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll open the door for you. the advanced settings or something single player physics these physics will be performed uh, oops I think what causes a lot of the lag too is. Hold on. I wonder if there's something I could do with the. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. So, the water resolution, we can just set to the medium. Model decals. We can set that to medium. I'm not worried about that. The visual appearance, but can also decrease performance. Yeah, I'd rather keep it at medium. Oh, reflections. Yeah, reflections can be a pretty crazy thing. So I'll set that to medium. The density of the lights. Yeah, yeah we can set that to medium.
physics for the computer. Yeah, the sound is pretty good. The effects. I wonder if there was like something like, you know, with... Oh, shell castings. <clears throat> World detail. It removes the quality of objects in the level. Lower levels will remove less significant objects from the level. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. We can keep that there. That's fine. Oh, graphics. Let's see. Oh, yes, we do. Shadows. Okay. Yeah, I always put the shadows at, like, me minimum. Because, like, shadows take up a lot of performance on there it, it takes a hit on there especially in this game but i'm gonna set it to like medium just so we can keep the atmosphere on there texture resolutions significantly more memory hmm. you know I'm, I'm really really not I don't really care too much about the textures, so I'll do medium. Okay, now what I do know is that This game was practically made to uh, do 800, 600. It's just better that way. Okay, so it's doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this one. Then I will be right back again Find that gate control yet. okay so I'm back again and yeah I think it uh I think it runs a lot better now come on we ain't got all day hey listen buddy I'm the specialist here okay you just stand here and be useless Hey, we got another one of those uh, things that can help us out. Oh, I almost forgot. This is on extreme difficulty, so I have to be extra careful because I will get my ass handed to me. I really love the theme on this um, on this game, like the uh, what's it called? The um, the music, the background music to it. Uh oh. Hey, he's been murdered. <sighs> Longo? Is that, is, that, is that what that says?
Alright, let's go. So, so the little ghost girl just ended up just slaughtering these guys. All right, so situation, new situation just ended up happening. Status unknown. Both teams have gone silent and fear teams' life sign monitors are offline. Interference is preventing satellite reconnaissance. Your new mission is as follows. Surviving operatives should attempt to rendezvous and... Exfiltrate mission area until reinforcements arrive. Rendezvous with the jo the Junkowiskis. That's what he said, right? Um, I pretty much butchered that name. Whatever. We got we got rendezvous with that team. <laughs> oh, look at that! Like they just been murdered in like game. Brutal way. Skeletons and all. It's like it's like their their flesh was like burned off completely without a trace. Except for the blood being maintained. <sighs> oh man. I can remember like back then this would like this was like creepy still is still is but I guess I guess you could, you could say that nothing really beats that first time right first time seeing this type of brutality I think I think I think that's like a pretty great way to start off the you know the you know the unsettling atmosphere and feeling of it I wonder do I go with the okay Shots. Help me. Command, all civilians have been neutralized. Echo Zero, report. Echo Zero, Roger. Hold position and intercept hostile forces. Uh oh. Okay, this is it. They did hit me. Okay.
trying to bait them. Hold on, I think I need to change something with these controls because I don't understand why. Why they would take out the the reload section doesn't make sense. I see, so B is to... Okay. Oh, that's why reload was not assigned. <coughs> okay, so they're saying like control F for that? I don't think that's a good idea. I think that slow-mo should be Y, but... Hmm. Strangely enough, it, it's not letting you do that. Very weird. Oh man, he really tried to call for help or try to get out of there. Look at me getting all paranoid. <laughs> is the reload. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Yeah, these are some really weird um, controls here. I think the end is to use something up. Uh, okay, that... That's not it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch it around because it's weird that that's it's using like two buttons when that happens. This is gonna be a little challenging, especially since I don't know where the reload option is. the mission
Okay, so one does switch the weapon. Well, no. Two goes into there. Okay. Um, okay, so what, hold on. I, I gotta fix this. Because the, I noticed that the D-pads aren't doing anything. So we're going to fix that. Oh, that's why. There's no... Okay. So I'm going to change this. It's already assigned to look down? What? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's see what happens. That's strange. It's not doing that. Well, I'll probably I'll do that like you know later on when I guess. But for some reason I can't reload, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Like the first game was really difficult on there, and I usually I'm usually more comfortable with a controller. When it comes to these type of games. Now, what I'm assuming is the Y button is probably what uses it. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> so I have to press multiple things to make this happen. Gotcha. So double tapping. Double tapping will switch the weapon. Gotcha. And I'm guessing that the bumper, the left bumper, is what uses the medkits? No. So the left bumper doesn't do anything. Oh, I see. Okay, so you gotta hold it. So holding the up button will cause that to happen. And okay, so holding the other ones doesn't do anything at all. And holding the Y button doesn't do anything. Hmm. So holding the R bumper can also start the slow-mo. These are some, yeah, these are really odd controls here. I'm gonna have a pretty challenging time getting through this. Doesn't look like there's anybody else here. All right. All right. 
so we'll drop down. Let's see what happens. There's gotta be another one over here. something like that. definitely gonna be tough I'll definitely have to change the controls Sensitivity on this too is a bit fast. I definitely gotta start. I definitely gotta switch the controls on this. Because it doesn't make sense that it's using two. It's using two buttons to do certain things. Like, two buttons are doing the same thing, and it doesn't make sense. save this one and I'm gonna figure out uh, you know another method to fix this because I'm not sure what's happening here like the frame rate is just going crazy right now 
yeah but yeah that, that, that'll be it for the first episode um the next before i do the next episode i'm gonna you know do something uh gonna go into switch into some different controls and then i gotta figure out something with the overlay i think something's wrong with the overlay and i gotta figure out a way to make it run properly but um yeah that'll that'll be it for this first episode i definitely want to go back into this game and you know just relive those awesome moments and um but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens but uh happy halloween everybody and if you liked the video feel free to leave a like and if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike but i'm out of here guys stay chill and don't fear the reaper